Hi, I'm Tiffany Devan, a higher education access partner with FIA. And today I'm going to share some tips on how to search for scholarships. A scholarship is a form of financial aid that generally does not have to be repaid and is often referred to as gift aid. In other words, it is free money that helps students cover the cost of an education at a post-secondary school. Scholarships also help to minimize the amount a student may need to borrow in student loans. There are scholarships for everyone. Never assume that you will not qualify for a scholarship. In addition to academic and athletic scholarships, both common reasons students receive them, receive scholarships, some scholarships are based on unique characteristics and traits, such as performing arts, special clubs and interests, leadership ability, or possibly community service, all of which are considered merit-based scholarships. They can also be based on financial need or other criteria set by the scholarship organization. So now let's talk about where scholarships come from. Scholarships are awarded by national, local, and regional organizations, community foundations, labor unions, employers, and more. Inquire about these scholarship opportunities by checking in with these local businesses, your local libraries, high school counselors offices, as well as websites such as fastweb.com. Colleges and career schools also have scholarships, so look at their websites and visit their financial aid offices. Each of these organizations may set their own eligibility criteria, have, have various deadlines, as well as terms and conditions. I suggest tracking all of these details in a notebook or spreadsheet as you're doing your research so that you don't forget. Now let's focus on some of these scholarship tips. Search early and search often. You can never start too early. Research scholarships and even pull up a few applications at least one year before you need the funding so that you will know what to expect when it's your time to apply. Also continue searching for those scholarships until you've completed your program of study. For those students who are approaching their senior year in high school or preparing for, to complete some scholarships, I suggest creating an academic resume which is a one or two sheeter that organizes key information commonly asked of students completing scholarship applications. Academic resumes generally highlight the student's high school journey and includes details like their GPA, maybe honors or AP courses that they've taken. It can include extracurricular activities, awards, as well as leader posi leadership positions that the student may have held. For the students, did you perform any community service? If so, with whom and how many hours? After creating the resume, update it as needed and be sure to save it someplace where it's easily accessible. In addition, take some time to write a standard essay, free from error, that can be tweaked as needed. This way, you don't have to start from scratch every time you're asked to write a scholarship essay. Also, it's okay to throw in a little personality when you're writing an essay, as long as the rules allow. Secure a letter of recommendations early, read and understand the terms, and do not be taken by scams. You want to make sure that you avoid unsolicited scholarship offers that ask for money, bank account information, or your social security number. Remember, you never have to pay anyone to receive free money. Most importantly, make sure that your scholarship applications and all of the required supporting documentation are complete, free from error, and submitted before the deadline. Good luck with your search.